Hello everyone, it's that time again, that exciting time when we see the pumps working. What's great about this is we've been working on this project for so long and finally we're at a point where we're actually putting the heating on. Obviously you can see a couple of aircon units there but finally, what an achievement. So very pleased, we've just literally got some snaggy bits to do and just to make sure all the system's working entirely properly and commissioning and stuff like that. But just testing out the heating at the moment, we've tested out the hot water, that's working fine. So onwards and upwards, a good sign when the heat pump is running as smoothly as it is right now. Hi everyone, so yesterday we finally got this heat pump working, fully up and running. Um, so it was quite late yesterday by the time we'd got everything you know, on and the heating system running through. So I thought I'd come back early this morning just to see how things are going, make sure that there's no issues, that all the air is dissipated out and that we've not dropped any pressure because of the dissipation, etc. Just to make sure the temperatures were still reaching where they were and the underfloor heating system was on. So I'll quickly show you. So we've got, so I've basically done a fixed flow rate on this heat pump um, and, and the setting on this Mitsubishi, uh, which is very easy to do. So I essentially went over to heating and we get an option. So you can have a heat curve, which does the weather compensation, but because I just wanted to get everything running and, and a constant temperature, rather than having this heat curve set in, that's the room thermostat setting. This is a fixed flow temperature. So it just gives you a little bit more opportunity just to kind of control it yourself a little bit. And we won't keep it as this, but it's just for real kind of just testing purposes essentially. So we've got a 35 degree, ignore that because we just haven't been using it for hot water. No one's living in the property at the moment. 35 degree flow temperature. People often asking, you know, how, you know, for the, I mean, this is a big property. I'll quickly show you that there's a, there's a lot of rooms in here. 35 degree. We've got an 11.2 kilowatt heat pump. Okay, so bear that in mind. 35 degree flow temperature, 11.2 kilowatt heat pump. And we've got three floors. We've got the basement. I'll quickly this up. And we've got our ground floor, which is kitchen, diner, uh, we've got a utility room and we've got a living room and then obviously hallway and a downstairs loo and then upstairs we've got bathroom bedroom bedroom bathroom landing bedroom bedroom bathroom dressing room and people say can these heat pumps achieve and bear in mind this is a new build so you get a little bit a better advantage just due to the insulation levels etc god it's tired me out there's a lot of glazing in here as well bearing in mind and open plan and people always ask can we achieve decent temperatures we'll just take a look at that so we've had this on and I've, I've overridden the, the thermostats to operate at a higher temperature just so it didn't cut out. 24 degrees. On a 35 degree flow temperature, we're at 23.7 in here. And there's again, a lot of glazing, vaulted ceiling, very high ceiling. So it just goes to show that these temperatures can be achieved and on a very low flow rate and it all comes down to the fabric of your building um and you might say well it was really warm actually out here right out in the sticks this morning as i drove in it was about five or six degrees this morning so the temperature really would have dropped last night um but you know fantastic it's working and doing exactly what it's required to do uh, and some <laughs> 